Hi everyone, this is Dave. Now in today's video, I've got some very interesting storage for you. If you create videos, or indeed you create any sort of file that needs fast storage, then this is gonna be of interest to you. What I've got here is a little enclosure from Inertech. This is their FE2101. It's an external RAID enclosure, so there are two bays inside. And also, it has a USB 3.1 Gen 2 connection. So instead of the previous Gen 1, which offered up five gigabits per second, this offers up to 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds. Now inside here, and I will show you this in greater detail in a short while, I've also got a couple of SSDs. These are the very latest SSDs from SanDisk. These are the SanDisk Ultra 3D SSDs. They use 3D NAND technology. And I've got two one terabyte drives. A big thank you goes out to SanDisk for sending these out for this video. Now let's take a closer look at the enclosure. Now inside the box with the enclosure, you do get some cables and also an instruction manual. So you get a little instruction manual to get you up and running. You also get a little tiny pack with a teeny tiny little screwdriver and also some screws. And you're gonna use these for if you need to actually physically mount the hard drives or solid state drives into the enclosure. And you also get a couple of cables. You get an older style USB-C to USB-A connector cable. And you also get a connector cable with USB-Cs on both ends. Now, I've got a 2016 Retina MacBook Pro, the one with the touch bar. This has got Thunderbolt 3 ports, which are backward compatible with USB-C. And this is the cable I'm gonna use for this particular video. Now let's take a closer look at the enclosure. It's really neatly designed. We've got some little LEDs which have come on when I actually plug the drive in. And these indicate the hard drive activity, or in this case, solid state drive activity. And also if there's an error on either of the drives. And it also comes with this little stand really neat little stand to stand it up on the desk this is made of metal as is the enclosure and on this end of the enclosure we've got the connections we've got a micro usb which can be used for if you need to actually power the drives in my test these two ssds actually work without any external power we've also got a little tiny reset switch and then in the middle there we've got that usb c port so this is really easy to take apart as well, but before I show you it actually open, I just want to comment on the build quality. It's really very, very good build quality indeed. This full metal enclosure, this part here is obviously uh, some sort of perspex, and then we've got plastic caps on either side. And then we've got these two little push buttons either side as well, and you push these to actually eject what's inside. And when we open this up, you can see the two caddies. I've already got the SanDisk Ultra 3D solid state drives installed, one on this side here and one on the opposing side. Then if you take a closer look, there's also a little tiny diagram and that diagram shows you which positions have the dip switches in, which is in this little sort of hole here. So you put those in the positions that you require for the particular type of RAID you want to set up. So that can be a JBOD, it can be RAID 0 or RAID 1. We're using this in a RAID 0 configuration for the maximum speed. So I'm just going to pop this back into the enclosure. And we'll pop it onto the stand as well. Just so it looks nice and neat. So now we're going to connect this up to my MacBook Pro. So now that this is connected and mounted onto the desktop, we're going to actually test this with Blackmagic Design's disk speed test software. So first thing we're gonna do is select the target drive and just check that the Inertech RAID is in fact selected. And then we're gonna click start. And just look at this speed. For an external enclosure, we've got 822 or 828 megabytes per second on this second pass on the right speed and 870 megabytes per second on the read speed. This is an absolutely fantastic performance. This gives us a total of two terabytes capacity and the ability to edit 4K video direct on the drives in this external enclosure. Now that's partly down to the really awesome SanDisk SSDs, but it's also down to this enclosure that uses the USB 3.1 Gen 2 connection. 
I think this is an absolutely fantastic mobile editing solution, or indeed you can have it on your desktop, on your main machine. This is just blisteringly fast and comes highly recommended. If you wanna build your own really fast external SSD RAID, then this is well worth checking out. Now I'm gonna leave a link down in the video description to where you can pick up the SanDisk SSDs and also the Inertec enclosure for yourself. Now if you've got any questions at all about what you've seen in this video, please do leave me some comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in another video very soon.